Technology Management Laboratory. During several years, I've been doing these videos to introduce our courses to both our business and technology courses because I believe that several of these courses go in the middle line between businesses and information technology. And for this reason, I'm gonna tell you that the course that you are studying is gonna be in that way. No matter if the course is related to the business side or management side of the organization or the IT, deep information systems, technology side of the same organization, the main idea of these courses are to gravitate between both areas and to find common grounds so we can understand what is the benefit for the organization. In many cases, business professionals need to work and need to understand what is going on behind the scenes on the technology part. At the same time, technology professionals need to know how the company, how the organization make profits, how the organization fulfill the vision and the mission they have. So for this reason, it is very important that we can coordinate and we can find those common grounds. When you are in a course related to these topics, it is important to understand the organization, how the organization is gonna be adapted to both technology and leadership and management issues. It is important to understand that the people are the one who run the organization and they need to be trained in both the business area and the technology area. And it's also very important that both sides of the company understand that today's world is about technology. We are in e-business. We have been now moving to mobile businesses. If you don't have a smartphone, you are out of business. If you don't have a web page, you are out of business. So it is important for business students and IT students to recognize that technology is now the foundation on most, if not all, organizations. We live in a global society where communications, wireless technology are in our fingertips so we can engage with people that are around the world doing several businesses or doing working in our operations in our education in our organization to make us a global entity so this is important that you train your next manager we need to be trained you know, during these courses during these programs because we are in business and technology and we need to be in the cutting edge of the technology in order to keep our competitive advantage with similar organizations or similar companies that are trying to get their own share of the market in the services or products that we have. Of course, data, information, intelligence are also very important components of any organization. So during our courses, we always mention something about business intelligence how you are managing your information. What kind of intelligence are you getting for your competitors from the market, from the global places where you are planning to get your products or your services? Where are the people the inform that have the information that you need in order to keep your competitive advantage? At the same time, by knowing what's going on in the market in similar companies that sell similar products, you will be able to measure yourself against the others and know what are your strengths, your weaknesses, to find the best opportunities and avoid the threats that you're gonna find along the way in your journey. This is why strategic management is also very important in our courses. I always tell the students, no matter what is the course, you need to know your mission, your vision, how to set goals, smart goals, and to be sure that you can tie all this to your projects. Because the next skills that you need to know is project management. 
Life is about projects. Everything has a beginning, and a scope, an objective, and then we move into tasks, scheduling, resources, people, money, time to finish our project. And when we are done with the project, we need to evaluate, feedback, and start all over again. Life is about projects, and change is part of this project. For this reason, I think that innovation is also an important component of our laboratory. We need to know what's going on, what is new, what happened in social media, what is the next technology that we're going to embrace, how we can improve these videos, what kind of camera I'm using today, what kind of service I'm going to use to upload this video so it can reach most of my students, what kind of smartphone I have to be able to reply to your emails in an efficient way, how I can use technology to teach more people in a very productive way and with quality. We don't want to use technology to massify the whole idea of using technology to reach people, but at the end we don't know if they are really, really learning or they are really using the best of these technologies for the benefits. We have also an issue of information overload, technology overload, devices overload, how many cameras, smartphones, tablets, computers you have on your desk? How many screens you use it? How you are going to filter those devices, those technology, to be sure that you are productive, that you are effective, that you are creating an impact in your organization or in the community around you. This is why innovation sometimes are created by crisis, by problems, by issues that we have in our organization. But this is great because you're gonna find people like you that want to embrace change, embrace the new technology, be at the cutting edge, be a pioneer. This is what I've been doing all my life, trying to find what is the next thing that I'm going to use to improve what I'm using today. We have to look in the future, live in the present, but point your canoe in the right direction so you know that the next thing is gonna be there and you're gonna be one of those that are gonna be using it. Social media today, microblogging, Twitter, Facebook are being an uh, impact in companies. I assume that in a few years, this video is gonna be obsolete. So we have to do it again. Like I did my first one, 2009, and now I am doing it again because the technology is moving, social media is creating a new way to share knowledge, to share information. I want you to be sure that in our courses, we are gonna be embracing those technologies, those social media, to be sure that we are also exploring those areas that can benefit our courses. Of course, mobile is now, uh, in the way to our learning path. So we're using mobile devices to learn more. This is a benefit for those countries that have no access to real big computers. And the only way they can learn is by the use of cell phones. So we want exploring all this because at the end, remember, we are in this global village, but it's not a melting pot. We are different, we are like a salad. We have different flavors, different colors, different cultures, different places. So if we're going to be working in this global village, we need to know exactly how other countries are perceiving technology, education, management, and leadership to be sure that they are getting the benefits. At the end of all these courses, we have to consider our social responsibility. What are we doing to impact the next generation of managers, the next generation of leaders. And this is the bottom line of this video and all these courses. We are here to serve others, to teach others, to be sure that the next generation that is gonna be used, I don't know what kind of technology in the next century are gonna get all the benefits that the technologies and the leaders can bring to the organization. Enjoy the courses, enjoy these videos, you can find me everywhere online, and I'm sure that you're gonna see more of my face and my videos 
on this technology management laboratory.